So here's a quick tour of the Lightning DS application on an iPad Mini. Do this as a screen recording too, so I have both. So let's start out. Here is the side menu, album, artist, composer, genre, release date for your local library. So here is by artist, here is by album, and you can change these views. Here's internet radio, a couple of favorite stations. local stations here in the Chicago area. There's Tidal, all the different selections on Tidal. Here's Cobas, same thing. All the different selections, so I can go to My Favorites. Then it's loaded up the artists, albums, songs. And I can select any one of those to play. Go back over here, go back over to the library. So here's the library, here's all the albums. I can say, hmm, I want to go select that album, look at it, and I want to add that album to the queue to play later. Now it's added to the queue to play later. I can press here to play it right now. Shows you how many songs, how long, and the format of uh, the album. This is at the bottom here. You can see the now playing. Okay, we'll select that. There's a couple of views. So here's just the album view. Now I have nothing playing because if I record here, we'll get kicked off of YouTube for playing music. So here is the album playing screen. Here is the queue. And you can see all the songs. And then I can collapse and you can see the individuals uh, individual albums you can collapse one open them move up and down on the queue uh, close the queue up here is your device list so there's only one device here and you can see what's playing currently and what the volume level is pause and play it um, this responds to swipes so you can swipe in and out then let's go down here quickly to the configuration so here's the configuration settings. So you can configure the library, the streaming accounts, cover view, etc. cetera, uh, some uh, version things. Here's the lightning device. Here's a set up a new one. Here's the existing lightning device and the basic setup you can do in the app. Then if you click on additional operations, it takes you out to a web browser view and you have significantly more uh, tools here to adjust and set. So here's the library. I can change the library paths, add them, all the nice help that's built into the setup. Here's hardware setup. So here's the hardware setup. So I've got it set up auto off on a display. So for instance, if I turn that always on, now the display will always be on on the device, that kind of a thing. Uh, here's DAC setup. Here's DAC setup where that's coming from, if the volume control is enabled, the filters, output levels, channel balance, etc. Here's the processing setup, so the resampler on and off, the parametric EQ, uh, turn that on and off, and speaker placement adjustments, um, streamer setup, so room name, etc. And you can turn off these other inputs if you don't want them available, their MQA playback setup, and then, of course, the library I can cancel. And now I'm back, close, and I'm back on the main album screen. You can have a nice alphabet over here. So you can S's, W, etc. You can move stuff around very nicely. So I uh, like this user interface. It has a decent search function, works pretty well. And from this view, you can also see the queue down here. So I would say this is one of the better UIs I've seen on a playback software in a long time.
Anyway, there's a quick overview of Lightning DS running on an iPad Mini. Mm -hmm.